Hey, I'm back yet again. I'm really excited to show this one because I'm really thrilled with how it turned out. It's another baby custom order, a baby journal. Um, it's looking really yellow on the film, but it's not that yellow. <laughs> it's a bit yellow, but not that yellow. Anyway, um, so the mummy for this one wanted her, baby's, her baby to be his name on the cover. And she also wanted it to be nautical themed. So... Again, I use Graphic 45. I use By the Sea collection, which I love. And um, on the cover, these bits and pieces, those three bits there, um, were actually from this um, Case Craft Collectibles die cut pack, which is um, called Timeless Tags. I love that one. So I stamped his name on the map one, and on the press card, one I covered over the stamp they had with stamps from the collection to make it more nautical themed. Um, this was actually an iron-on, so it was meant for fabric, but I love it on here. It looks really cool, I reckon. So then I just like kind of fussy cut these um, shells out of the paper and overlap them there. There's a border strip and did some punching which you probably can't see up the top there and this paper this brown paper that I used to cover it was um, again Kayser Craft um, from the vintage timeless paper pad so I open it up and on the inner cover like always or pretty much always I put a spot to write something so this is from the cut apart sheet on graphic 45 and then this was another one of those, um, these thingies. And I thought she could use that to put a photo of her little bubba when he comes and maybe write his name or a note to him there. And then this image from the paper collection I love and I thought went really well with the theme because it's got the mummy and her kids playing in the sand, which is really sweet. And then, oh, the thank yous I've got in there. I'll show you later. So I've done some punching on the pattern pages there, and again it's got lots of pages. Oh, I I had this um old encyclopedic dictionary that had illustrations, and I, when I went through it, it had heaps of kind of nautical themes. So I used lots of those. So this one's got some boats, it's pretty cool, and it's got some barnacles, <laughs> some land paper. Oh, skipped one. No, yeah. Um, I put some of the um, border strips throughout the journal. A paper bag pocket. An envelope. Big one. And I also used um, some old children's book pages that had anything nautical themed on it. So, I don't know if you can see, but that. Um, that's mice in the ocean on boats, which is normal, and um, I turn them into envelopes. So there's a few of those throughout. Line paper, more boat book pages, more pattern pages, envelopes, and again I did the, I used the stamps from the collection on the envelopes. I love those little stamps. They're in every um, Graphic 45 collection. I love them. Um, so some shells out of that book. See how perfect. And um, some um, sea plants, <laughs> I guess. A border strip. A little envelope. This was a uh, case of craft. Their, tr their newest travel paper. That's what it's from. Um, blank. There's the end of that book. Page. Pattern paper. How gorgeous is it? It's so cool. I love Graphic 45. Blank. This one has a stingray on it. More lines. This one has another boat on it. Another book page, so there's some fish that's been turned into an envelope again. Pattern paper with the anchors, and more anchors on the back. 
So I love that you can use the pattern paper to stick things on, like um, appointment cards or receipts or photos or anything like that. Another book page that has a boat on it and it's been turned into an envelope. And another envelope that I stuck a stamp on. Um, border strip, paper bag pocket. What's on that one? That one might just be the other side of it, of something that was nautical themed. Same with that one. Um, blank, some fishies. Some weird looking fish. Googly eyes. Um, some more fish. Another envelope, line paper, a starfish. I was so surprised at how many nautical themed um, illustrations were in that in that book. So it was pretty cool. Worked out. Um, more border strip, line paper, pattern paper, more beautiful pattern paper. This one's like underwater exploration. Exploration. That's cool. It's got like all sorts of stuff. Um, an envelope which I did some punching on. I just got this punch, so you'll probably see me use that a lot lately. <laughs> More pattern. Um, pattern. That's definitely not pattern. Plan pages. Some whales. And oh, this is like stuck itself down. Um, another book page. Um, envelope and it's got some kids playing in the sand so there's that sand castle that's pretty cute I think um, that must be the other side of the book page border strip more punching on that pattern paper I love this paper too it's so nice you can't see it my phone my phone doesn't focus very well um, getting to the back so lots of plain, more boats, more envelopes. Oh, it's stuck itself. Um, another envelope there, which looks like it's stuck itself as well. That must be my messy gluing. <laughs> um, that one had a big boat on it, so you can kind of see the waves there. And there's uh, those mice. I don't know why mice would be on a boat, but anyway. Um, and another one of those kids playing in the sand, which is really cute. That envelope. Um, there's a shark. More pat pattern pages and, um, paper bag pages. That one's got bridges on the back because I think it had the whales or something down the bottom there. I don't know. It had something. And in the back, uh, I've done that paper bag pocket thing again. I've just put some of this nautical washi tape and a border strip to decorate it so she can keep things in there. So, there's that one. I really love it. I'm so happy with how it turned out. And it was so much fun, those papers, playing with those papers. So, And in hers, she gets... I can get it out. So um, I didn't have very many scraps because I used an 8x8 pad to make it but so I've used I've included some cut parts from the collection and I've made some tags with scraps that I had so she can write on those and staple them through and some doilies and then these I've had for a while um, they were printables um, my Pinterest and um, they were all nautical themed so I just included those in it as well so um, that's it for today finally I feel like I've been filming for ages so I'm gonna upload these three videos that I just filmed um, probably over the next few days because it takes me ages to upload one video for some reason it takes hours so you have to do it overnight so um yeah that's it <laughs> so thanks for watching if you watched this far 
Um, because I feel like I've been filming for ages. How long does this video go for? Ages. Anyway, so thank you and I'll be back soon. Bye.